guys, I'm Roxy with Roxy's Broadway Breakdown. Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to do a deep dive into the new musical, The Outsiders. Well, first off, congratulations to them and their 12 Tony nods. Yes, that's what I counted. Best musical, book, actor, two for featured actor, director, scenic design, lighting, sound, original score, choreo, and orchestration. So my goodness, holy cow. So this is based on S.E. Hinton novel um, and Francis Ford Coppola's famous iconic movie that starred Patrick Swayze, C. Thomas Howell, Ralph Macchio, Rob Lowe, Emilio Estevez, Matt Dillon, Tom Cruise, and Diane Lane as the wonderful Cherry Valance. Oh my gosh, who could forget all those characters that kind of skyrocket all of them to A-listers? Um, but if you're not familiar with The Outsiders, um, this takes place in 1967 Tulsa, and who better to write about teenage life than a teenager? Essie Hinton was only 16 when she wrote this, and this is sort of the classic, you know, teen angst and emotion and coming of age story. It's it's a tale of the haves versus the have-nots, the kids from the wrong side of the tracks um, versus, you know, the kids with privilege and kind of getting everything they want. Um, she called them the greasers versus the socias. And um, that's kind of a timeless tale and it's bound to become a combustible situation. It's a really exciting story and it was a really fast read for me. I remember reading it when I was 12 and then seeing the movie and it was just like, oh my gosh, this is like the best movie. So, um, now we have the musical adaptation and I just, you know, been trying to get my hands on everything I can see and read and um, about it. Now, Dana Taymor is a director. The book is by Adam Rapp and Justin Levine. Um, Jonathan Clay and Zach Chance wrote the music and lyrics. Rick and Jeff Cooperman are the choreographers. And so it has now finally come to Broadway. Emma Pittman, uh, who plays Cherry Valance, is doing a vlog for Broadway.com if you want to check her out. She is delightful. It's kind of a behind-the-scenes thing, taking you behind the scenes with cast and crew and interviews and that kind of thing. But it's really fun, so if you want to check her out. So, let's get into this. Um, Brody Grant as Pony Boy Curtis, who is the main, uh, he's the lead, he's the main protagonist. And he has a couple of great songs, Great Ex Expectations and Tulsa. And he's just got this really unique voice, this kind of voice I haven't heard in a while. Um, considering this is this takes place in 1967 Tulsa, it does not have a 60s feel. Like, none of the music has that 60s vibe. It's got a very contemporary indie kind of vibe to it, which, I mean, Broadway is trending more contemporary feel. But, I mean, that's fine. It really kind of suits the, the musical once you, like, see the sets and they're very abstract and you kind of see it all together. But... Um, he's got a very cool, smooth, laid back tone, just kind of floats you with these songs and it sits right in the pocket. He's got a really just beautiful, beautiful voice. So I really, I really like him with these songs. Sky Lakota Lynch. Oh my goodness. He plays Johnny. Um, and he has this gorgeous song called Stay Gold. And that's a pretty iconic phrase from the movie Stay Gold Pony Boy. Um, but uh, this might be an oxymoron. He just has this beautiful ache to his voice. It's such a gut-wrenching song. I was crying when I heard it, but he's just, um, and I mean this in the best possible way. There's such restraint in his voice and such emotion, um, but it's a gorgeous song, and I just really love the way he sings it. And um, Joshua Boone, who plays Dally, not Derry, but Dally, has the song Little Brother. And he's got this really amazing, like, gritty rasp. And then he has this clear falsetto and this huge belt. And I'm like, dude, how many textures can you have to your voice? It's incredible. So all three of them have garnered Tony nominations for their performances. Um... The choreo, the bits I've seen, uh, remind me a lot of West Side Story. So 
I, I mean, I'm, I'm tossing back an homage to Jerome Robbins. It, it reminds me a little bit of Jets and Sharks. It's very athletic and dynamic. Um, so I, I found it, the parts I've seen look really exciting. The New York Times said fans will find some nostalgic comfort in familiar characters and scenes. Um, variety, I mean, that was just a snippet I took from, from the entire review. Um, variety as well. Packed with heart and soul, but lacked a strong uh, pulse. Eh, you know, these big critics are always going to find something. But they did say Pony Boy, Gary and Soda Pop, the three brothers were excellent. They said that Boone and Lakota Lynch, their numbers were some of the high points of the show. Um, they said the novel grabs you by the collar, that it was very muscular, and um, that the musical was a bit milder. I mean, I, I don't know because I haven't seen the musical in its entirety, but I do feel with the music and the sets and um, some of the things I've seen, it, it does seem to have a more laid back tone than the movie, but again, I haven't seen it in its entirety. Um, I thought I would maybe, you know, have trouble getting past all those like iconic characters, you know, the Swayze and the um, C. Thomas Howell and the Ralph match. You have seen them for years, you know, in this movie every time I watch it. And I thought, oh, it's going to be so hard getting past these, you know, those old faces and the new characters, seeing people play them. I don't. I don't. Maybe because they're singing and dancing and I'm like, I totally get the new cast. New vision, new cast of the show. I, I totally get it. Totally buy into it. So congratulations on your Tony nods. Uh, I hope you win. Um, there is some pretty stiff competition though. There's some, some pretty great shows, some pretty stiff competition, but congrats anyway. Hope you have a long run with the show. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to click and subscribe.